Uh, is there anybody who doesn't understand the bill and wants me to explain it? Okay, excellent. All right, let's, uh, let's move on uh, at that point. Uh, do any other members uh, wish to be recognized for statements on H.R. 1108? Uh, seeing none, uh, I will now uh, consider the bill for amendment, and I believe that we do have an amendment to the bill. I would recognize the ranking member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I do have an amendment at the desk. I'd ask unanimous consent the amendment be considered as read. Without objection, so ordered. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 001 to H.R. 1108, offered by Mr. Graves of Missouri. Uh, Mr. Graves is uh, recognized for five minutes. So I have two letters, one here from uh, the American Association of Airport Executives and one from the Airports Council International in North America and one from a variety of general aviation groups, including uh, the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, the National Business Aviation Association, and the uh, National Air Transport Association. They're all in support of this amendment, and I'd ask unanimous consent that those letters be entered into the record. Without objection. As I said at the hearing yesterday, all of the infrastructure funding options, I think, should be uh, on the table, and this amendment would increase funding for the Airport Improvement Program, or AIP, uh, as one of those options. Currently, the unobligated balance in the Aviation Trust Fund is projected to be about $7 billion, which will support the increased uh, investment levels uh, in the amendment. AIP is an important funding source uh, for both large and small uh, airports. Large hubs rely on AIP to finance expensive runway and taxiway projects, um, while smaller airports rely on it to make even you know, some of the smallest or even the most modest infrastructure improvements. Um, this amendment is going to touch every one of our constituent uh, airports. Uh, for example, it's going to increase general aviation airport funding by $130 million, increase noise abatement funding uh, by $170 million, and increase capacity uh, project funding by $225 million. Our discussions on infrastructure funding are going to continue in the weeks and months ahead, but I believe this is uh, an important first step uh, to improve our nation's uh, infrastructure. With that, I'd urge my colleagues to support the amendment. Yield back. And thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I now recognize uh, myself and then subsequently other members who wish to speak to the amendment. Uh, I fully support uh, the amendment uh, offered by the ranking member. Uh, the uh, AIP uh, levels in last year's uh, bill would be increased by $650 million each year from three point. $35 billion to $4 billion annually through fiscal year 2023. There are sufficient resources in the trust fund uh, to support these investments, uh, so we would not be incurring uh, any uh, new debt or deficit um, uh, for the uh, annual uh, budget. Uh, the uh, FAA has identified a need of $35.1 billion or $7 billion per year in AIP grants over the next five years. Uh, and as we discussed yesterday, that our airports are facing uh, not only unmet needs uh, on that air side, but uh, also uh, other needs that relate to the traveling public uh, with their terminals and gates, uh, et cetera. So uh, we spent quite some time on PFCs yesterday. I thought we had a good discussion. A good case was made by uh, at least uh, one of the airports who testified that when they can build uh, facilities independent of the airlines that they can bring in new entrants, lower fares uh, for Americans, and uh, have a more a variety of, of flights, uh, which is, I think, uh, to be desired. Uh, so with that, I uh, fully support this amendment. Um, are there other members who wish to be recognized? Okay, seeing uh, none, uh, then uh, are there any amendments to the amendment? Okay, seeing and hearing none. Uh, then if not, uh, the question is on the amendment. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, those opposed, nay. Hearing none, uh, the amendment is passed. Uh, are there other amendments uh, to the bill? Okay, uh, hearing none. Uh, if there are none, the question is now on the adoption favorably reporting H.R. 1108 as amended to the House of Representatives. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Saying nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The bill as amended is approved, ordered, reported favorably to the House.